Welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to be a uh, basic, uh, simple maintenance job. We're going to be changing the air filter on a 2012. It's a Honda Pilot with a 3.5 liter engine. I'm going to show you where the air filter is located and just how easy it can be to change that filter. It's fairly simple. I think it's at four screws or maybe a couple clips and it pops right out. So uh, let me get up front. I'm going to show you what to do and uh, we'll get this job wrapped up and out the door. All right, basically, this is your, uh, where your, your air filter is located. You'll see your air tube right here that runs into the engine and through the throttle body. Uh, we're not going to disconnect any of the electrical connectors here because we should be able to lift this up far enough to access the filter and slide it out and replace it with the new one. Um, it looks like there's going to be four screws that actually uh, hold the filter in place. This being one of them here. There's another one there. One down over here and one more down in the back over here all right so let's unscrew them and uh, let's remove this filter and uh, we'll see what it looks like and we'll uh, we'll get this job wrapped up and out the door um, you can use a, uh, a, a regular screwdriver to get in there you can use a eight millimeter socket whatever works for you uh, in this particular case I've got a very long screwdriver so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the uh, take out all the screws. Okay. All right, and then you just lift it, and you could pull the uh, the air filter up like this. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Sorry about the shaking. I'm going to take the filter out. And then we're going to get a new filter. You just lay your new filter in exactly as you took the old one out, and it pops right in just like that. And then just lay your now I just want to add, there's only one way that this filter goes in. See the deeper side was down on the bottom. That's how you put it back in there. All right. Then you put your, your air box back up on top. Catch each one of the screws. Don't tighten them in tight yet. You're going to make sure each one of them screws in. Once you have all four of them caught, I know it's a little dark down there, but we'll get that caught. We're gonna catch the last one down in the back. Right here. And now this is the last one. All the others are snow or caught already, so now we can tighten everything up nice and tight. 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 And remember, you screw it into, uh, it's, it's plastic, so you don't want to break it, you don't want to over tighten it and crack anything. Alright, snug everything in there. And once you've got everything snugged in there and tight, which is what it is right now, basically all you're going to do is you're going to look around to make sure that you didn't inadvertently knock off an electrical connector, which is your, this is your airflow meter. If you knock this off, your car is not going to run properly. Make sure there's no vacuum hoses that were knocked off. In this case, there was not. So uh, that's it. We're all set. All right? So uh, fairly easy job when you uh, pay attention and uh, you shouldn't have an issue with it. All right? Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Now, I am going to go inside, and we are going to check the cabin filter. And this is a pretty good indication here of, uh, of why 
um, a, a filter should be checked. You see all these leaves and debris that lay up in here? These leaves go down inside here. They break down. Once they break down, they fall inside and they wind up getting clogged up inside the, uh, the dashboard in the cabin filter. So we are going to check that one next. I know this can be probably a little bit dark in here for you to see, but basically this is your glove box. you got to take all your, uh, all your stuff out of the glove box. You just open the door, pull it down like this here, and then what you're going to do is on the side right here, you're going you're gonna to actually push this side in and this side here in at the same time, and we'll be able to rotate the glove compartment down like that to access the, the filter which is actually, I'll show you, which is actually right inside here. All right, what you're going to do is you, you push this little tab here this way, and this one in this way, and you just pull it out like that, and you get the filter out. And as you can see, this one here is uh, a lot of debris inside there. And the filter just comes out just like this. You lift it out. We're going to discard it, of course. We're not going to keep it. Now, when we put the new filter back in, we have to remember the filter has got to go back in the way that it, uh, the way that it, the airflow is on here. When you look on the side here of the filter, it'll show you the airflow. So that's the direction that we want to have it, uh, so that the air is actually flowing this way through it, down like that. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your your new filter. Put it inside here like this, remember? Arrows facing down as it's supposed to. Push it in here like this. It goes inside the glove box there. You push it in and you hear it lock in place like that. And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to rotate your glove compartment back up. Push the tab in here and on the other side here at the same time. And we're going to Put the glove compartment back, close it, and that's it. We're all set. All right, thanks for watching, and like always, I'll see you on the next one.